Today on GoPro Tips and Tricks, we're looking at the 3.5 millimeter mic adapter. The 3.5 millimeter mic adapter allows you to attach any standard microphone to your GoPro via the USB port. For today's video, I decided to record all of my audio onto my GoPro. Most of the time, I record my camera shots onto my cameras and then I record my audio on a third party recorder, the Zoom H6, with this microphone. Today, I decided to pipe this microphone directly into one of my GoPro Hero 3 Pluses, and then I'll use this as my third party audio recorder. So the audio you're hearing right now is actually being recorded via this microphone to the Hero 3 Plus. As a comparison, I am also recording this scene onto my other Hero 3 Plus. They're recording in the same resolutions, so what we'll be able to do is cut from this one, which is recording via the microphone, to the other Hero 3, which is recording via its onboard mics. So let's go ahead and open up the mic adapter. Here it is. It's a small cable which converts the 3.5 mil input of a microphone into a USB port. The disadvantage with using this is it can only be used with either the cameras in the frame or in a skeleton housing. If you're going to be using your GoPro to shoot professional quality video, audio is critical. And well, the Hero 3 Plus has improved audio, um, it's still not that great. The onboard mics have a, low, have a high noise floor, you can hear that static in the background. If you compare that to the audio we're recording on the microphone, you can hear that the noise floor on the mic is very low. When I stop talking, there's not any static in the background. That's the tell of a high quality audio recording, that noise floor. The other thing you can hear is that the dynamic range of this microphone, what we're currently hearing, is a lot better than that of the Hero 3 recording on its onboard mics. The onboard mic sounds slightly muffled and uh, kind of a little bit more dim than the audio we're recording with the microphone. Bad audio is the tell of amateur video. If you guys want to have professional video, you need to have clear audio. If you're shooting with GoPro and you're shooting action videos, most of the time you're going to take out the audio or use it piecemeal combined with some background music. In that case, the onboard mics are fine. But if you're going to start doing more and more professional videos where the background sound or what you're recording on location becomes more and more important, you need to find a way to improve the audio. If you have someone holding the camera to record action, mounting a mic onto whatever they're using to shoot audio is easy and it's really worth doing. This shotgun mic is quite large. It's possible to get a lot smaller ones that record even better quality audio than this. One of my favorites that I've seen come out is one of the new Rode action mics. I'll link that in the video description. It looks really cool and the nice thing with it is it inputs directly into this 3.5 mil output. Uh, this mic has an XLR output, which isn't very useful for recording into the uh, GoPro as it needs a conversion cable. Um, my H6N takes XLR inputs directly. That's why I have this microphone. It was disappointing to see the 3.5mm mic jack removed from the Hero 3 and the Hero 3 Plus. However, I think GoPro did that because very, very few people actually record audio into their GoPros. This is something that I feel is worth doing, especially if you have the ability to use the GoPro in the frame or in the skeleton housing and you have the space to add a microphone. It's not something you're going to be doing when you're helmet mounting, but if you're mounting your camera to a handle to shoot skateboarding or something like that when you're in a controlled environment, mounting a mic will make your final productions a lot better. If you're trying to take your productions to the next level, audio is key. It's the biggest difference between high quality video edits and amateur video edits. More often than not, it's audio that makes or breaks a video edit. Thank you guys for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. I hope you were able to learn a little bit about the difference in audio quality from the GoPro with its onboard mics to the GoPro using offboard mics. It was not so much a review of the audio of the GoPro 3.5 mil mic adapter, more a conversation about the audio quality of the GoPro and the audio quality of offboard mics and how important audio is to video.
Sometimes it's hard to tell if audio is good or not until it's compared to a very good source. I didn't really realize how bad my original YouTube video recordings were. I personally didn't really realize how bad my original GoPro tips and tricks audio was until I invested in a higher end audio solution. Now I can barely watch some of my older content because of how poor the audio on it is. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you like it and subscribe. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.